the inspired actor here. This week, we're doing something a little different. Having studied Chekhov with so many organizations, one of the biggest questions I get asked is, how does one Chekhov organization compare to another? It's a tough question for me because honestly, they all are great in their own way and each one has their own strengths compared to others. It's really up to you and your style of learning to determine which organization will work best for you. This past January, I was fortunate to help facilitate Chekhov actor and teacher training with the National Michael Chekhov Association on the campus of the University of Florida. NMCA is run by two wonderful master teachers. Will Kilroy and Lisa Dalton, with Charlie Bowles serving as managing producer. Will Kilroy first began studying Michael Chekhov under Blair Cutting in the early 1980s, and eventually founded NMCA with Mala Powers and Lisa Dalton in 1993. He is currently the head of the theater department at New Mexico State University. Mala Powers, best known for playing Roxanne opposite Jose Ferrer in the 1950 film Cyrano de Bergerac, studied directly under Michael Chekhov for many years and was the executrix of his estate when he passed away. Lisa Dalton is an award-winning former stunt person, actor, director, author, and master teacher of the Chekhov technique. She has been studying and teaching Chekhov for over 40 years. At all of their week-long workshops, both Lisa and Will team teach the entire technique, with most days lasting over 12 hours, beginning at 8.45 a.m. with a Tibetan warm-up, yoga, and vocal exercises, and finishing the day at 9 p.m. with coaching, lectures, or presentations. For the student, this is an intense but fulfilling week, and by the end of it, you will have touched upon every facet of the checkoff technique. You can finish your certification in only a year and a half, if you like, by taking the first workshop to introduce you to the technique, take another workshop six months later to review the technique, and then go out and direct or teach or act with the technique, and at the next workshop six months later, present a capstone on that project. Don't worry, though, if you think that you can't do it all in that time. They can work with your schedule to a large degree. So this is something I made to walk you through the week and I'll meet you at the midpoint of the video to talk about some of the things I like personally about NMCA's workshops. Just a quick note, this workshop was unusual because they made several adjustments for COVID. The students were kept to their individual boxes for the most part. Masks, hand sanitizer, and hand washing breaks were mandatory. Exercises were adjusted, things like that. I actually was pretty impressed by all the adjustments they were able to make, and we all felt pretty safe throughout the week. Anyway, see you in a few minutes. Your first task is to mess this up. That's it. Even if you accidentally catch it, you can pretend that you forgot and accidentally drop it on purpose. Well, it came to you, now it's yours to catch. every five minutes that an audience spends appreciating your performance gives them uh, over six hours of music. This chart is the basis of our work. Just trust that you're not alone, that somebody like Michael Chekhov had a rough time too, and he's still considered one of the greatest actors Russia ever produced.
exploring the form of our body and our heart. <laughs> <laughs> that <out> Hello again. So as promised, here are some of the things I like about workshops at NMCA. First, I really like the fact that you are only taught by the master teachers themselves throughout the week. Personally, I think that's a little crazy and kind of amazing. When I teach, I'm exhausted after a normal day, and for them to be so present and engaged throughout an entire 12 hours is incredible. It really speaks to their passion for Chekhov. I also like that you are taught the entire technique in just one week. In fact, they make sure to go through the chart point by point to make sure that they touched on everything. They also have what they call the rock and roll review in which the teachers take turns teaching the entire technique in about an hour and a half. It's really intense and gives the teachers some practice with teaching parts of the technique they're not so sure about. I showed this at the end of the video, so watch out for it. One more thing that I love is the open and caring atmosphere of the entire week. Anyone who has gone to one of these workshops can attest to this. You may have noticed at the beginning of the video, Lisa talks about how everything is perfect, even your mistakes. One of the first exercises of the week is making sure everyone deliberately misses catching and throwing a ball so that you can get the idea of having to be perfect or right all the time out of your head. I think that's a lovely approach to the work and to yourself as an artist. As artists, we are all very good at judging and criticizing ourselves negatively. It's nice to work in an atmosphere where messing up is not only acceptable, but encouraged. I'll come back at the end of the video to talk about how you can sign up for their workshops and learn more about NMCA. See you then. And Jeff, what's Mariah going to change to? Mariah is going to change to a six. You look jealous. Let me make sure he marries you before I'm all over Just what's that supposed to mean? That ultimately, where the real creative individuality yep. reveals itself most dynamically is in the world of transformation in the world of characterization. Halloo your name to the reverberant hills and make the babbling gossip of the air cry out, Olivia. To weave this work one from a fruitful break, and therewith all to be weaved. Without the witch, I am not going to be Grant them renew and grant. Let this, your noise, have chid down the majesty of England.
There's so much more to this week that I wasn't able to cover in this video. I guess you'll just have to find out for yourself. If you'd like to learn more about the National Michael Chekhov Association and how to sign up for workshops, feel free to visit them on the web at www.checkoff.net or search National Michael Chekhov Association on Facebook. I loved doing this video and I hope to be able to offer something like this for other acting organizations as well. I'm looking at you, Misha and GLMCC. Hopefully we'll be able to do this again soon. See you later, colleagues. Thanks.